Let's take a closer look at the future F1 tire development. With 2026 approaching fast, F1 teams want to have the technical regulations for the 2026 season fixed as soon as possible. That means the teams want it fixed by July 2024, but it looks like it will take until the end of the year. New tire dimensions, however, need to be fixed before that. Because tire dimensions are essential for the car's design. And the first test runs with the new tires are planned for September 2024. So that's only five months from now. So why are tire dimensions changed at all? Because for the 2026 regulations, with its compromised drivetrain without front electric motors, because they were afraid of Audi could have an advantage because of their LMP1 experience, and with much more electric power, teams want to save weight where possible, and regulators want to reduce the car's energy consumption, because otherwise they could be surprisingly slow with the new regulations. For all details on the 2026 regulations, check out my other video. So teams try to reduce the rim size from now 18 inch down to 16 inch. When they changed from 13 inch to 18 inch in 2022, the tires got 11 kilogram heavier per car. So teams hope to save some weight now by wheels alone, so without touching their car. But there are three problems with this. First of all, the reduced circumference would cause tires to overheat more quickly, because the tire surface has less resting time until it touches the ground again. The next problem is that the weight saving with the 16 inch wheels would be minimal, at least according to Pirelli. And Pirelli has no interest in going back to 16 inch because it's irrelevant for their road car business. So also from a marketing perspective, they want to stick with 18 inch. And another problem is but if they now reduce the rim size, these new wheels would not fit on a current F1 car for the test drives, which means they would need a special prototype with special smaller brakes, and that would be expensive. In terms of drag reduction, it makes sense to reduce the frontal area of the wheels. So the compromise in diameter is now that the tires will slightly reduce in diameter, while the rims stay at 18 inch. At the front they change from 720 to 705 mm and at the rear to 710. So the cars will have slightly higher rear wheels compared to the fronts. And of course the tires will reduce in width. At the front they will shrink from 305 mm to 275 and at the rear from 405 mm to 375. So around 10%. And here we have to remember that 2026 F1 cars will reduce their overall width from 2000 mm to 1900 mm. Another way to reduce weight and frontal area. So what do you think about F1's new tire size and how it will affect racing? Will we see even faster pit stops now? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.